Well, let's talk a bit more about the triggers for this latest unrest in Jerusalem. I'm joined on the line by our international affairs editor, Philip Turl. Um, Philip, one of the key issues going into today has been this uh, movement around the neighbourhood of Sheikh Jarrah in uh, East Jerusalem. Uh, Jewish settler organisations there are trying to evict Palestinian families. They say they're reclaiming historic land that belongs to them. Um, the dispute goes back decades. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it only takes a spark to set off more violence uh, in Jerusalem and uh, more generally, I think, in, in the West Bank and in Gaza. And this has been set off by, I think, a growing frustration amongst the Palestinians that it's not only a question of uh, Sheikh Jarrah, this uh, district of East Jerusalem, but a feeling amongst them that Israel is doing everything in its power to try to kick them out of uh, East Jerusalem so that uh, it can shut off the capital and make it uh, an entire, the entire capital of Jerusalem. And what the Palestinians want is for East Jerusalem to be the capital of their future homeland. So they see this as a provocation uh, by these Jewish settlers trying to come in to uh, kick these uh, uh, Palestinians out of East Jerusalem, which they say is their home and not that of the Jewish settlers. Uh, and therefore, uh, as a result of all of this, this has led to more frustration, more anger on the part of the Palestinians. And that's why we see these clashes taking part uh, in Jerusalem today. Now, we have this Flag Day march uh, due to take place later this afternoon, which is not going to do anything to uh, arrange the situation to uh, quell the nerves there. Uh, I think that it would be a good idea if that march was rerouted elsewhere, but it appears for the moment it's not going to be so. So uh, this could also set off more clashes by Hamas uh, in Gaza, sending more rockets into Israel. So we're in a very, very tense situation. Uh, and this latest claim of this land by these Jewish settlers uh, in East Jerusalem is not doing anything to, to quell the situation. Now, on the, on the side of Israel, of course, it's not uh, the same situation. They say that this is a uh, just act which has been orchestrated by uh, groups of uh, Palestinians uh, who want to uh, draw the attention on them uh, by the international community. Uh, they are basically squatting the land in East Jerusalem, which was rightfully uh, belonging to Israel before uh, it was taken over in 1948 by uh, Palestinians who were forced out of their land and into East Jerusalem, which was formerly under the control of Jordan. And therefore, going back to the 19th century, this land is rightfully Israel's. And that's why these Jewish settlers are right to want to take it back. Now, uh, all of that, of course, uh, is being decided by the High Court. And because of these clashes, uh, this ruling by the High Court has been delayed again. And that's not going to do anything either uh, to try to quell the situation between both sides. What have we heard internationally in terms of a response to all this tension in Jerusalem? Well, of course, uh, there is a meeting this afternoon by the uh, UN Security Council to uh, discuss the situation uh, in uh, the uh, uh, in East Jerusalem and more widely the situation concerning the Palestinians. The United Nations Human Rights Agency, uh, his spokesman, uh, Rupert Colville, has uh, uh, said what the Jewish settler groups are doing is illegal. Uh, and the United States Democratic Party uh, has unusually come out uh, and called for calm and called for Israel uh, to uh, stop what they're doing, uh, stop the violence, uh, saying what, what is going on there is morally wrong. This is a, a, quite a different uh, reaction from that of Joe Biden, who has said that he's not going to interview, intervene in the moment uh, in internal Israeli politics. Just one other reaction from Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, uh, which have both come out and said that uh, uh, they are against what's going on, even though both those countries have recently normalized their ties with Israel. Philip Tell for us there. Thank you very much indeed.